Hey, hey, hey! What's going on, everybody? There we go. Got, uh, wanted to make sure I had my uh, my time right. So we got it right this time. Woo! All right. So what's going on, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Cubicle Arc. What's up, Crusade? Crew Killer. What's up, man? We got Lou up in the house. Thomas. What's going on? Let me make sure this is down just to the low enough here. Connor. What's up, man? General Bear. Good to see everybody. 75 in already. Been here since 99.99. Under 17.125, man. Thank you, there, crew. Appreciate it, man. Optimus Prime. What's up, Kaiser? So. What's up, man? We got 1651 Dark Sun. What's up, y'all? Man, good to see my, my, a couple of my sponsors in here. Dark Sun is on uh, three months, actually six months or more. So a big shout out there to Dark Sun. Cuba Clark is on his first month of uh, membership there. So thanks, guys. Big thumbs up. Uh, Bama Kid, what's up, man? Rose Sharma, what's up, man? Jake Helvey, good to see you guys. Ron Plowin. We have got a huge surprise for you tonight. This is going to be a good one. It's going to be my best building drive yet. I can feel it. We've even got a small surprise in here uh, that you guys are going to see. What's up, Imraz? Outlaw. That's right. Cannonball. CW Gaming Award. What's up, man? James Preston in the house. we got Jonathan Bowen. Brandon Owens, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Hope you guys are doing well. Be Josh, man. Josh Braid, what's up, buddy? How are you? I had Mudden up here earlier. Danny Dude, we've got uh, Kill Beef, Triple Six, Mudden, Mudden, Tony Sanders, Jordan Bennett, Earth Space, Game of Cuffs, 1072. Good to see you guys as well. What monitor I'm using? All that's in my Amazon link, but we'll talk about that real quick, man. Chris Snow, what's up, man? Oh, well, thank you, man. I'm glad it's first stream, man. Big shout out there to our first stream participants there. Jandy Cantu, what's up? How are you there? got John Hager up in the house. Good to see you, man. Laith Van Jingle, what's up, man? How is it going, Cameron McClintock? Steve Body, what's up, man? I think it's going to work out. we got 10 seconds. Oh, we're going to be short a little bit on our uh, on our time here. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to pause this. Actually, we'll just let it run really, really soft in here in the in the background. Can we, can we do that? Will it let me do it softly? There we go. All right, let's roll this out. I'll roll a different, uh, let's roll a different song. There we go. Some sweet acoustic country blues. Josh Gordon, what's up, man? Gilly, been trucking. I hear you, buddy. Thank you, man. Boss boy Collins. All right, we are ready to go, Ryan. Cameron, Jonathan, what we built tonight, one of the biggest and baddest trucks that I have uh, built yet. Trust me, this is not going to be your average, uh, your average, you know, heavy hauler. This is going to be absolute custom to the max, sounds everything, the full nine yards, grills to the floor. This is going to be one bad mama jamma truck. As always, links go up. But I tell you what, let's roll 50 seconds and we'll be back. All right, there we are. So what's up, Outlaws 389? You say, well, what's up, Outlaws 389? Uh, big surprise here. So let me go ahead and open up our volume mixer here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just quieten down this. I always have to do this. I I can't ever get find the right can't ever find that right balance. You know what I'm saying? So all right, so it's good to see everybody here, man. We got a good crowd in here already. So it's good to see everybody. Sparko the gamer, what's up, man? Uh, what do you should do when you add a new mod in your game crash? If it's the only mod that you add in Sparko, it's typically that 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 mod is not up to date yet, uh, or that it's not it's not going on. Anthony Lake, what's up, man? I love your two. What's up, man? All mobile gamer, good to see you, man. Alexander Lambright, what's up? I hope you guys are doing well. Zimmy Flip, what's up? Hope you guys are good. All right, so let's take a peek here. So the Outlaw is custom 389. So this is going to be a little bit of half and half. So um, as I was kind of looking at this, I was like, I was worried about putting the truck up like this. As you can see, we don't have bumpers. We don't have headlines. So we've kind of got the shell of this thing painted, although we're going to kind of repaint it as uh, as this totality when it's all done. Uh, basically, we got a license plate in the front, and that's it. So we are going to customize this thing. Long frame chassis on this thing, lights around the block. We're going to put some chrome on this bad boy, and we're going to paint it in FTG blue, metallic. So we'll go through all those things, but I've kind of got an idea what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to uh, you know, go out and add every single thing we got on tonight, So, uh, or at least ask you guys. I, I will do a few things when it comes to the trailers, because I want to showcase something that we've been beta testing here with another modder. Uh, and it's just something I'm sure you probably won't mind if I do this. Uh, we're not going to show up any links or anything, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a taste of what it is and what some of the mods out there will be outside of your regular Steam, outside of your regular kind of uh, mod stuff. So some of this is payware. 
Now, obviously, the truck we're in right now is not, so you can Google Outlaws 389, probably find it through Facebook and that kind of thing. We'll upload some mods, I mean, upload some links and stuff after the stream today. So anyway, uh, did I drive before? Um, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, Ryan. Hey, what's up there, Nathan Allen? Good to see you there. Silence Gaming, what's up, man? Brap Rap, what's up? Is it Vipers? This is someone, okay, this is Vipers plus a bunch of other stuff, all right? How about that? Uh, that that'd be the best way to to explain this. So this is Vipers 389, but it's got a ton of accessories added on to it and a lot of really cool stuff. So it's still free. It's not payware, so there's not any kind of like big copyrights being being busted up with this one. So don't you know? Oh my God, he's he stole it. Uh, no, 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 don't. <laughs> let's not get into all that. All right, let's uh, let me let me quiet this down a little bit. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we got a couple things. Pretty much what I'm going to show you is pretty much everything that you got in this one. Uh, at least some options that you can have. Um, yes, uh, Pigna. I think you mean Pinga. Uh, yes, Gwiz. Yes, at least up to what has been updated so far. So I'm actually we're doing a little bit of work with him there as well. Raj, what's up, man? How are you there? Zach Day. Good to see you, man. Thomas Morales. Good to see you guys as well. All right, so we'll stay up with the 63 flat inch. We're going to go ahead and let's stretch this baby out. So let's do, uh, I'm going to do the 6x4 six, uh, six long here. Uh, I'm not going to do lowered. I'll explain why here in a minute. I would love to do that. Engine's already picked out 18 speed with the 330. Uh, differential in here. I've already got the great old dash. So some of this stuff I've already done just because it's like the little meticulous duff. Um, and, and there's really absolutely no point in, you know, uh, like completely beating a dead horse with this. So uh, paint job. Let's go to accessories now. This is where it gets. So I'm going to actually save the front for the last part because that's like the best part. So um, let's do this. Oh boy, where to start? Where to start? There's actually some good things on this. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the back here. Uh, we're going to add now some of this stuff comes in. So if you see the Brytax is all uh, mods that are on Steam. If you see in like the Legion or the LED beacons, all this stuff here is a part of this truck. It is not external mods. So once you get the truck, you get all of this stuff for the most part. Um, so I hope that, I hope that helps some. All right. So we're going to add that one on there because that thing is bad to the bone. We're going to add a little interior light blue on there. Uh, let's go ahead and add some roof lights. Is that add them on there for us? No, of course not. <laughs> All right. Let's look at, uh, here we go. Let's do this. So pink of paint, I think. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Uh. I don't believe I, okay. I don't believe I knew those were there. All right, we'll take a look at that because that might be a keeper right there. All right, so that's the one I had on there. So maybe we, I'll give you guys. So check a few of these things out. I'm gonna give you guys a, 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 a give you guys a choice there on the visor. What's up there, Speedy Games on Howie Man, Dippin' Buddy Boy? What's up, Brandon Harper? Good to see you, man. Anthony Lake. What's up, JBT Win Two Eighty Six? Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it, Kelly Welch. What's up? How are you there, Siobhan Willis? What time is it where I am? It is eleven p.m. Almost. Almost on the, oh, almost. Let's add some roof lights real quick. What do you say? Let's uh, let's get out. Let's add some bullet lights. I think we'll do bullet lights tonight. We'll add uh, we'll add one each uh, each other one because this is uh, probably <laughs> be too many. We'll add bullet lights there. So is that doable? Yes, of course that's doable. What's up? <laughs> I hear you there, Devin. Keelick, what's up? Johnny three times. Yeah, absolutely. No pink cat, man. What's up? Michael Harris. I'm doing good, man. Devar Richards. Chroma visor. Well, when you see the paint, I don't know. Eh. I don't know, man. We see the paint, dude. It, I like this pink one, man. This pink one's pretty boss. <laughs> Never too many lights. There you go, Zimmy. I'm with you on that. See, this, this I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm not digging. Oops. I'm not digging the big one, though. Uh, but I am digging the uh, the smaller visor paint uh that's pretty that's pretty legit we'll see what it looks like with all the paint stuff on it uh that might be pretty cool when you see what color we're going to paint it so there's that uh let's move on to a couple accessory stuff that i know i'm going to go ahead and put in so let's go ahead and put painted rivets on yes we're going to go ahead and put the pride and class logo because that is like the master one um hoodwing nothing yet let's go ahead and add our chrome flying goddess because that's my favorite we'll go ahead and add in our front mirror left i like that one I might give you guys a choice on the mirrors. There's not too much going on there. So let's do that. I'll give you guys a choice on that. So be thinking about that. 
Uh, can I ever go full screen? I can. So here's the thing. You guys decide if you want to see it like this with a, cause this, all this does is it allows me to, uh, for one, keep my social media up there in case you guys want to jot any of that stuff down. The other thing is it's going to do is allow you to see all of the stuff. Uh, if I go full screen, then my cam, uh, covers up half of it. So, um, you decide. So if I go full screen, don't complain that you can't see all of the options. That's my only rule, man. That's my only rule. <laughs> hey, Cuthbert, what's up, man? Full screen? All right, full screen. Here we go. Y'all say full screen. All right. All right, so there you go. See, now, see now I'm, I'm covering. So as long as you guys don't care about the options up here and you just want to see the truck, then, then, then there you go, man. <laughs> Master Guru was like, no. What's up there, PNB? Transport, how are man? Josh Hall, good to see you, man. All right there, Jonathan. <laughs> uh my chair i will i have the link this is actually free so you just got to go and i'm going to actually talk a little bit uh about some things that's going on here in the ats community some things that i've gotten into uh greasy t what's up man how are you man light it up we are gonna do that man uh click on all of them so i can stay in full screen okay uh what do you got uh well this is free this is outlaws 389 uh but you can't find it off steam and you ain't gonna find it off ats mod sites and Lord help, no one better share it off of uh, to any of that either. Um, there we go. This comes a sub in. So thank you there, Josh Hall, coming in with a subscribe. Appreciate that, buddy. As always, let's go ahead. I'm going to hide that for right now. Now, here's what I am going to do. Um, we might. I'm not going to do those. I might do these. I like the box. The box is a nice custom look to it. So let's do... I'm going to get a few things up here. Hmm. Let's see... Because after I do some of this stuff, you guys could be like, what? You could really do that? I'm like, yes, you can. SM Game. Oh, Mickey Reese. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. All right. So we got a couple. So Mustang Guy 6501. Thank you there for sub, buddy. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Deck plates. Oh, we do. We got some awesome stuff. Thank you there. Okay. Jacob Castro, Mickey Reese is next, and SM Gaming. So thank you, boys. Appreciate it uh, for subbing in here today. So appreciate it, guys. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to shorten my tank up here. Let me f let me figure out which one I want to go here. I think I want to go. Uh, tank. Let's see which ones we got. Tank steps. Black. Yes. We're going to put the smaller tanks on it though. That was my that was my thing. So I get everybody SM gaming. Yes, I did. All right. All right. No fuel tank with def. Huh. <laughs> All right, short tank, I believe, is what we did. And then on this side, we'll add uh, the tank fairings. Just take tank steps. There we go. All right, so that should open up. <clears throat> All right, so that should... Okay, all right, I think that did it. So here we got an uh, Elite Fender. So let's go ahead and add... We'll add a Phantom cover on the back. More on that later. Yes. <laughs> uh, lower the lower lights. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there's that. I am going to take that off for right now because I don't want it. Hey, Ethan, what's up, man? You built like a protractor. Okay, all right. A little geometry lesson there, kids, for protractors. <laughs> what's up, Bleak? How are you, man? How are you, dude? Uh, use the K100. Ah. Can be honest, I don't, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the K100 uh, if you're talking about the, uh, the Cyrus the Virus one. Um, so I'm going to go with a paint here with the light nodes, uh, actually frame wrap with the light. So how about that? We're going to go with that. And then we're going to add a frame mount toolbox with Chrome. Now I'm not going to put any lights on it, uh, mainly because there is a node over here that a light that does not show up and it looks completely ridiculous to have one little light down here that doesn't show up. So, uh, can we shorten it? Absolutely not, man. Cause this is going to be a custom out of this world. You're going to be like, well, you probably won't. You'll probably be the guy that's like, Oh, I don't like it. It's terrible. FTG. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. There X chip LX chip. It does. It adds a ton of stuff to it. Um, basically everything that you're seeing right now is added. Uh, all these Chrome toolboxes are added. These nice fairings for the Phantom styled fairings are new. The wraps here with the lights on here. So you can see it lights up underneath on the frame. 
that's all uh, brand new in this one as well. So there's there's kind of a lot of uh, a lot of new stuff on this. A lot of front end enhancements and some interior enhancements, which we'll look at here in just a few minutes. And thank you there to Mr. Sean Caddy. Appreciate it, Sean. Uh, we are gonna add we are gonna add a bumper. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna add a bumper. I uh, just want to get some of this stuff in the back, and then we'll kind of look at the front end and then give you guys some options uh, you guys can choose. Because I always do that with our building drives. This is going to be straight up like a uh, uh, straight up like a custom here. So let's do because um, I've got some. I know, I got a feel it. I know what you guys are going to. Uh, ooh, how's my driving? Oh, that that ought to be good. You guys will like that, right? <laughs> let's do the Peterbilt window cover. And you guys want to do a rack on here? I think I'd like to do. Um, I like that one. Uh, which one can we do here? All right, so let's do this. You guys, can we do the, ooh. So we might can do this one, or we can do, uh, what's the one look like? Can we add that? Is that on top? That is on top of that. It is. Does that look stupid? Can we do this one? I like this one. It's my favorite, man. Uh, 18 speed, they're dipping. Nate Miller Jr., what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Christopher Clonson, what's up, man? How are you there? Chevy Kenworth? Yeah. Don't like <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we'll see you, bro. Have a good man. <laughs> Not worth keeping a viewer if you don't like I, you don't like a truck I like. I gotta go. What's up there, Schooler Boss? How are you, man? <clears throat> oh, we're good there, Ethan. Appreciate it, man. <clears throat> Killer wants to keep it. No. <laughs> see, Raj, see now Raj is just gonna do it now just uh just because. Um let's do um actually we could we could go with this one. Uh if we do go with this one, we can actually do uh airlines, but let's um I'll have to get a trailer. I'll, I'll tell you what, let's do that. Let's just put this on the put this on the Paul's bank for right now. Uh lights work, so we'll put this airline stand uh potentially right here, but we may actually move that back some. If anything, we might put it right there. That would be the only thing I might would want to do. We got that one. Eh. Toolbox. Toolbox is pretty good. I actually do like the toolbox. Um, and I think the rest of these are just too big. That one's too big. It's too redundant. We've already got enough crap on it anyway. All right. Hey, Josh. No, it's not. Yeah, I guess it's a paid mod. It is not, brother. It is not a paid mod. So I'll have links up here after stream, after thing. Uh, I'll be able to edit it after everything uh, process. So, yes. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to add that in. Dad gummit. All right, let's take that off. All right, Chrome Steps. Let's add in. Let's do some quick stuff here. So let's uh, let's say DBF and battery box. Nope. There you go. I like that one. Let's roll that one. Let's throw Chrome it out on the bottom. So we got Chrome. We got black steps. Uh, we've got a black frame. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave it black. All right, here's where things get fun. So I'm going to do... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do chrome. Nope, it's not that one. Custom light bar. Is it custom light bar? Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll add in some lights, which we'll, of course we will. Um, and then we might, uh, we might do one other thing down on the bottom. I'll let you guys decide. All right, y'all ready to see what this mod's all about? All right, so one quick thing here. Do you guys, would y'all like to have the straight out mirrors... There's mirror two or mirror one front for left. Uh, do y'all like the little curves mirror? So put in a one in chat if you like the left, the curvy mirror, uh, or type a two in chat if you like this straight out, like really wide load uh, mirror. Let me know. Uh, you'll find out, Raj. You'll find out, man. No problem, Josh. No problem. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Miller Time? What's up? Dark Sun says no mirrors. Well, we might. We might have to put one in there. We'll see what everyone says so far. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? Zero to no mirrors. <laughs> one is a little more old school. I agree with that. Truck looks a little bit cleaner without them. Okay, all right. Well, how about this? I probably, out of all that right there, probably saw one. Um... Yeah, you got to pay for the game. Yeah, it's not free, man. All right, so I probably saw more ones than I did two. So let's just for right now, for uh, for kicks and giggles here, let's just leave it, and then we'll revisit if we still say no. If you guys still say no, let's go ahead and can it. So here is the cool part about this. Um, 
Let's look at the grills. Now you've got all the standard grills except for this. So we'll add that in. Everybody's like, what? So they get there, Riley Sparks 21. What's up? How are you, man? Cowboy Jack, what's up, man? Do the rest and then decide. I'm with you, man. I am with you. All right. Somebody's like, what the heck are you going to do that for? <gasps> wow. <laughs> Josh just went swing. What? Well, look at that. Man alive, everybody. <laughs> Golly, Pete. Woo. Wow, that looks so great, man. <laughs> oh, come on, Dark. <laughs> Dark hadn't been in here in a while. He's like, yeah, that sucks, FTG. I, I, I could do better. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the grill like that one <laughs> with no bumper. Yeah, it would be. Uh, that would be. Yeah, okay. <laughs> dark man, you know I'm just picking on you, dark. It's all right, man. There's lots of things I look at. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe they picked that, man. That's the ugliest sin. <laughs> Why do we put the tires on it and the wheels dark, man? You're really gonna, woo. You're really going to kick me for that one. I might have to beg you, beg you to keep that membership, bro. All right, so here's the other thing. You can also put the fenders, uh, the lights in the fenders, or we could put lights outside. So I'm going to let you guys mull this over. I'm going to go through a couple of these and let you guys think. So here's what it looks like with fenders in. Let me go ahead and pull it out here. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it, okay, Navarro, it, it is. But here's the thing. The Phantom actually sucks as a mod. It's terrible. But this is actually Vipers 389 that literally looks and has everything that the Phantom has, but it has some other cooler stuff. So here's kind of what we've got to look at here. But I'm going to show you. It's also got some things that some really cool parts of this mod where you can actually just take these off and you can actually put the 389 lights or 379, 351s, 359s, or the outlaw lights. So you can put any kind of lights even with the fenders. Now, that you can't do that with Phantom, and this has got way more. This gig is almost three quarters of a gigabyte big. So it's like almost 800 megabytes for this one truck mod. So it's huge. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's, do, let's look at it real quick. So remember what you got with the fender lights there. Um, and then we've got a few other things here we can do. So now don't, don't shoot the messenger here, but we got a couple of different things here. We've got, um, we've got three fifty ones here. So here's the three fifty nine single squares. I'm not a big fan of those, but that definitely brings an old school flair to it. There is, uh, there's are your single square outs. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of iffy on these three fifty nines are okay. Um, they've got a neat little look to them. We've got painted and chrome on those. And we've got all paint, which actually we probably need to go and paint this thing anyway. And then we've got 389s. And we've also got Vipers 389s uh, style and color options. So depending on how you want to roll with this, uh, so you can have these where they actually have the strobes inside the lights. So whichever one is, is, your, um, is your pick. So, um... All right there, John. Have a good man. Uh, Jason, always uh, usually after we get done streaming, man, I'll usually update some links and stuff after the video gets done processing. Uh, and you'll have to actually go get this link in a Facebook group. Uh, it's not private; it is a public mod. But they, um, you know, but they look. This is the cool stuff. If you actually go out there and start going and digging through some of this stuff, uh, they had a lot of people just still in the mods for them and, and uploading this stuff. And um, and I understand why they do it. So uh, there's a hoop to jump through, but I'm telling you, it's worth it, especially when you listen to it and we crank this bad boy up. So. Um, also it does have all of the heavy haul stuff in here as well, but the heavy haul stuff is still something funky with it. The heavy haul stuff. And I'm going to show this when we get out here. I said in a previous video that, uh, that it kicks all the lighting. I mean, all the lettering off your maps and all your road signs. This mod does too. Take this mod out, all your road signs come back, but it's because of, uh, all of that stuff inside that Sir Blackie did, uh, with the, uh, the heavy haul stuff, the heavy haul transport stuff. Something's wrong with it. Uh, and it kicks all your road signs out. So anyway, uh, let's get back to lights. So I'm not going to add at least LED blinkers on it yet. So how about this? Let's do a one if you want to see uh, external lights like this, like we have here. Or if you would like to see uh, the Peterbilt Phantom fenders with the lights down here and these lights gone. So lights in the fenders are two. Lights on the grill are one. How about that? Uh, Jarvis, we've done a couple videos with it, man. It's good. I love it, man. It's really good. It just doesn't have a lot of options to do like a build and drive. One. So, all right. So, y'all decided y'all would like to do... Wait a minute. I did... Wait a minute. Was one in the fender? 
Dad gummit, man, I freaking forgot already. Let me know if one was in the fender. I can't remember. Was one in the fender? I think it was. Hey, what's up, Alan? How are you, man? Okay, one was external. One was on the grill. Okay. All right. One is out. All right. Y'all like the outside. All right. So now we got that narrowed down. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's kick out the lights from there. All right. So there you go. All right. Now let's go ahead and look at these. So I am going to... Um, so we've got a couple, uh, let's see, here's the Outlaw Custom Style. Yeah, four-wheeler, we, we probably won't do the, the that one. Now we have the Outlaw, uh, we've got the Outlaw Custom Style here, which is okay. Um, hey, what's up, Jared Geo? How are you, man? Um, and we've got these, which are the old 379 lights, uh, which I actually do like some. And I think we've got the 359 squares are just a little bit higher uh yeah so they're just a little bit higher but they're still the basic thing so um what do you got uh you're looking at it ryan uh the outlaw grill man this is it i mean it's more like phantom but yes it it's yes i mean outlaw is the group that it come from it's not necessarily just the truck or the truck brand it's you know it's the group that it came from outlaw mods how are you sam how are you man 359 around e yeah, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of the 359 style with this one. I mean, it's okay, uh, but I'd rather go I'd rather go with the square style. I think if we're gonna have to go with one, I'd rather go with the. Uh, how about this? How about this? I can actually go um, three ways. All right, so remember this. I feel like I'm gonna have to write this down. So 359 style is one. Um, 379 style is two. And then the outlaw custom style is three. So one, two, or three, one vote. So 359 is a one. 379 is a two. And the outlaw custom style is a three. Only one vote. Come on, man. <laughs> so we we'll say one or three. Okay. So I'm seeing a lot of ones and a lot of threes. <laughs> there it is Giancarlo uh, Caballero what's up man thank you there for the sub man appreciate it JT Batman what's up man yeah a couple nights ago man I do man got a whole cattle all right there Riley got a whole cattle all right so I'm seeing a lot of one so y'all like the 359 rounds um I'm kind of surprised 359 squares 359 style um let's go ahead let's maybe leave it painted with the chrome front Okay. I mean, sure. I'll, I'll take it, man. The Goat. Oh, wait a minute. We had Norm McNally. Thank you there, Norm. Appreciate it there. And the Goat. What is up, man? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, all right. Let me just see if there's one other thing I can add on here. I don't think I can. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at this. Freaking got the... Uh, you can do the eyelids on it. So it looks like a little... Yes. Or you've got the halo... Oh my gosh, like day running lights. So Cameron Ford, thank you there, and Dylan Ketchum. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Yes, pretty it is. Purdy it is. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I'm not doing fender guards because that looks weird. Um, make sure I got everybody. And there's Dylan. There it is, Dylan. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Dang, also add a little bit of shark teeth underneath it. You see the shark teeth in the chrome underneath the grill? It's kind of an interesting look there. Sure, whatever. Um, I don't know that I'll do this. Let's just see what it looks like. Cause I don't think any of these. Do y'all like the uh do y'all like the LED bumper marker lights here? They do hug with the fender kind of nicely. Y'all like that? Yeah, maybe. Eh. I'll lose front mirrors. Yeah, it looks like tentacles. Yeah, I'm with you now. Yeah, we'll lose the mirrors. We'll add some mirrors on our, our upper mirrors. All right, so Dark... Oh, you know what? We'll give Dark his... He's a six-month uh, member here, so we'll give Dark his, his due. So uh, let's pick out... We don't want... Let's not do chrome. Let's do something else. Let's do um, standard LED. Let's just look and see, I'll see what the other ones are because I know they've got a couple. Um, there's more of the old school, but I think we go LED. Don't you guys? 
I'm kind of thinking LEDs on these. Mm, yeah, it kind of looks weird. It doesn't fit for them. All right, let's go back with the paint LEDs. Man, that's going to be so bad at the bone. All right, so let's throw some paint on this bad boy. I, I'm not quite done yet. I'm not going to done yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm not done on that yet. Uh, now, also, you know what? If you found it elsewhere, buddy, uh, it's probably not going to be updated. Uh, you can certainly try it, but it's probably not going to be updated because it's just this. I, I'm actually in 1.32, by the way, as well. So, um, but you can certainly try it. Um, all right, so let me let me. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a, uh, a real quick here. I've kind of got an idea what I'm gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do that. Actually, let's do this one. Will be the lighter colored blue. And I think we'll do a darker colored blue on top of that. And then we'll add a black metallic. So black gives this thing just an unbelievable blue shine. Look at that. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Wow, FTG. Really, really good. Really good painter. I don't know, man. I'll show you why we're going to do FTG. Because it's kind of got the FTG blue flavor to it. That's the only reason I'm doing this. So we could add. I wish we had add something to the back trailer, uh, the back hitch right here. That would be nice. Let's do some other things too. Um, I need to come back here and let's change a few things because I'm not digging this whole entire frame being blue or the fifth wheel. Let's put all this black, uh, fifth wheel black. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so boy. All right, where's that one? Hang on. Don't go anywhere. Um... All right, frame wrap, lights, paint, frame wrap. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have the paint. Well, I was kind of hoping we'd have just the... Well, dang it. Too much. It's going to add a little... Oh, we could, we could, we could, yeah, we could do that. We could just, uh... One piece of mud flap hanger. Oh, that all looks stupid. Let's just do a custom style chrome accent back. We'll just add that in too, and that way it'll kind of finish off the back and we'll just be hanging out there. So, um, hey, what's up there, Cameron? Yeah, I kind of worked on this one to get the blues right. I knew kind of where I was going with it. So, appreciate you guys indulging me there. Let's uh, let's go back here. Let's, 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 let's knock this out. I'll show you. It looks weird um, if you don't put the airlines yeah we're gonna have to put the airlines closer to this just because we've got the stretched out look so um okay so here is another thing do we go painted on the frame wrap which i like the frame wrap with the lights do we do frame wrap with the lights in chrome for one or do we in paint for two i had not yet raj not yet man <laughs> that's, that's interesting jason so let's do chrome for one paint for two chrome for one paint for two now, Peter built this is the Outlaws 389 custom. Two for paint, yes. So one for chrome, two for paint. Uh, I will, buddy. Uh, mainly because the tra the the trailers will just rub right over all the truck. Oh boy! All right, so I'm seeing a lot of ones. So y'all like the chrome, the chromes? Um, I think it's chromes. What I did. Okay. All right. Well, y'all made that pretty clear. Frame wrap, uh, lights, paint, nope. Frame wrap with lights. There we go. How about that? Uh, well, Jimmy, it did, you know, okay. So nothing that I said in that video made your major game crash. Um, there's a mod that did not update or something got out of whack or got a miss um, that needed to be revamped. And it could have been your maps. If you didn't have a map relocated in the same way or you didn't have them organized in the same way or had a truck that was on the wrong style. The main thing is the categorically filing them so it's easy to do. But you can still screw it up by putting one mod on top of the other when it's not supposed to be. So that's not necessarily, uh, well, I watched your video and my game crashed because... My game's running just fine with 78 mods in it. So, um, I mean, I, I definitely know what's going on with that, man. <clears throat> uh, it does phant It does look like the Phantom, except it is not the Phantom. <laughs> 
it is much better than the uh, than the Phantom. So um, let's do uh, custom. Let's go ahead and add some lights on this bugger. Let's get, let's get this thing going here. Lots of lights come with this truck as well. Everything you see here, all of these LEDs and all of these um, LED markers and stuff, they all come with it. But I'm going to kind of go with the old school stuff that's going to match our frame over there. So let's go ahead and add these in. Uh, side lights there. We'll add a few more across on the other side. And I'm not really going to do a ton of uh, a ton of lights on this. We'll keep it somewhat somewhat structured. No, that's all right, Jimmy. Uh, and listen, man, anytime you guys need help, man, seriously, hop into the Discord and ask some questions, especially if you got questions on mods, because guarantee you, if you've downloaded it, quite, uh, typically speaking, it's probably a good uh, a good shot that I've downloaded it as well. Um, because uh, I, so I constantly out, you know, just mod hunting and doing what I can, which I've run across a lot of really cool stuff, really uh, diving out there and finding stuff on Facebook, finding some payware mods that are worthy uh of of doing some things and some really meeting some really 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 nice cool people out on facebook some nice ats face groups which i would uh implore you guys to do the same there's a lot of really really great stuff out there and a lot of really great communities as well people give them a hard rap but um i understand why modders do that i know some people don't like it but it's you know it is what it is uh you can either you know understand why they do it and uh figure out why they do it or you can just go without not having the mods <laughs> your way man <laughs> you're my rival one two three steam and it's a, and you can google it it's it's not private it's not anything that's held out it's a public mod uh, but there are rules that they want you and expect you to kind of follow as a part of the facebook group within these mods um, so, you know, just, just abide by those, you know, keep them public and keep them to their download links and let those guys update and do things whenever they say they're going to, um, and all will be well in the world. So, um, there is that. Um, so let's do a couple of things. We got one more thing here. Let me add air cleaners. I think I was going to do the five lights, six lights paint. I think we are going to do that. So there we go. Now here's the other cool thing. What's up, Jason? Uh, good to see you, man. 12 pack, what's up? Man, big shout out there to all my boys. Uh, down in the convoy room, we've got to be getting close to a million miles on uh, on our truck book. So good to see you guys, man. <laughs> Chance like, it needs more, man. Hey, what's up there? Oh, I thought you were going to tell me what's up. Good looking. But no, it was what's up looking good. Okay, I don't usually hear looking good. It's more like good looking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, what's up, Cody? <laughs> Are we... Uh, uh, are we at a million yet? DJ Berga, what's up, man? How are you there? Noob145, good to see you guys. A little shout out. TJ Arthur, what's up, man? That's right, man. We got a company trucks down there. So if you have never driven for a company, then uh, try it out. Click that link and uh, and come up with this. So here is the coolest thing about this, I think. Look at this. You can actually add freaking inside of your air cleaners. You can add blue flipping lights in this thing. <laughs> what? Are you serious, man? Oh, my God. Uh, coming to ISX open pipe, 620, I don't know, man, 18 speed, I did, we did do that, but like, oh my god, you didn't put a cat, okay, so here's the other one, we're gonna add antennas on here just because, you know, we might need to contact somebody, okay, <laughs> so everyone, brace yourself for this. Because seriously, this is going to blow your mind. All right, so let me get a couple shout-outs here. So, Dylan, all right. So, Elite Wolf 16. Thank you there, Elite Wolf. We've got James Blackbird coming in. Is that uh, Joeps Gaming? Jeps Gaming? Jeps Gaming and Total Awesome Sauce. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all's subscriptions, as always. What's up, man? 909,000. Woo! Wow, man. Here's a lot of Jasons. Midwest, what's up, man? That's why y'all hear this thing going on. Almost a million, man. It's good, man. Tommy Boy, what's up, man? All right, Blake Jones and Kai Frank. So thank you guys for subbing in. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> okay. So how many people with a show of, of your hand or an emote or a one or a two or some random number? How many people like guns for um, for exhaust pipes? What's up, Dev? Devon, what's up, man? Jordan made the do double G. Uh, what? You're all like the... Oh, that's not a carry, man. That's a toolbox, man. Everybody flipping needs to... Oh. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad, dude. I'm with you. There you go. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, thanks for doing that. What do they look like? They look like two Gatlin guns. <laughs> yeah, what? Guns? What? Okay. All right. Who wants a Gatlin gun on the side of their uh, 
<laughs> Almost seven and three. <laughs> oh man. No, oh, it's stupid. Yeah, unless AR fifteen. Oh yeah, you're not interested. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i will james yeah we, we're gonna take a drive and i've actually got something else we're going to do a real quick build on that you guys it's gonna be a little sneak peek for some video stuff we're gonna do here later on uh and i'll give you guys a choice of what we do be thinking slider double sliders or whether or not we do double flatbeds just be thinking about that all right so we got two we got a gatlin we got a gat gun here we've got this gatlin gun which is basically inverted it does look like a mini gun and we also have this one a straight custom which is nothing more than a chrome pipe uh, with uh, etched in there. The big yes meme city's like, what? Seriously? Thank you there, Demi Linked. Appreciate it. Just <laughs> you like the barrel spin? You know what, Rob? That would be awesome if the barrels actually spun with the flow, man. That that would be uh, that'd be pretty boss, man. <laughs> you like this one? No, oh, Bushcraft says, uh, yeah, uh, oh yeah, the Bushcraft guy, yeah, you would say, uh, you would say that. Let me see if there's anything else in here that actually is, uh, is decent. I think there is a couple more. We'll just, we'll just look through a couple here, because there's actually quite a few. I love these, I don't know why, I always have. Those are actually the originals off the, uh, Viper. Uh, Cody Pelote, thank you there, Cody, appreciate it, buddy. Uh, there's the Strom with flat top chrome, that wasn't it, hang on. I'll find them. Here we go. Here's all the uh, custom exhaust. Now, these all come with the truck. So, those are your turns out. Those are your bulls. Uh, there's your flat tops there. There's a really cool mitered one is what I was trying to get at here. I don't know whether or not you guys. A West Coast Curve. So, 45's out. Okay. 8 inch straights. Uh, oh, is this it? Man, okay. I thought it was there. 8 inch straight. Big pipes. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe it was I. Heck, I can't even remember now. Yeah, so here's all the stuff. And basically, it goes back into Viper's uh, Viper stuff as well. Uh, mitered. So, yeah, I tell you what. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that would be cool if the Peterbilt was uh, backwards. It's like it's uh, inverted. It's not right on this one either. Well, dang. I'd have kept that one. All right, let's do... Uh all right, let's go back to where we were. Straight bike custom. You guys like the custom ones. And that actually is really good looking outside. Actually, looks good. All right, flat top chromes. There we go, man. Uh, Elite Wolf, no. Kind of, yes. Kind of in no. Um, it is kind of in no. All right, so I wanted to do... I messed up one thing right here on our... Um, I messed up one thing right here. Tank fairings. Yes, so I wanted to add some lights on the bottom here and then lights right here. And I messed this up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that the way it was. I like it the other way. I like it with the steps. Yep, I like black steps. Okay, never mind. Never mind. No worries, everybody. We got it under control. All right. Um... Okay, normal window, yes. We've got that up, yes. All right, so that's up. Okay, I'm just making sure I got everything, the last minute stuff I wanted to. Got the lights up, yes. We'll see what this one, uh, we'll see what that looks like. I think I think it's done. Oh, yeah, we got to do the wheels. Oh, yeah, do we ever have to do the wheels? My gosh, are y'all ready for this? Y'all going to be like, oh, my God, what is he doing? <gasps> the Diablo wheels. Everybody's like, what? Diablo? What? All right, hang on. There it is. Diablo tire. And this is what sets this thing off. What? We're going to haul some heavies on some rubber bands, fellers. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's what she said. Yep. Right there. All right. No parts. All right. What's up, Myrtle Beach here? What's up, Trip? All the way in the Myrtle to the beach. Good to see you, man. All right, we'll go down and add the Diablo. Now, the Diablo tires do come with this truck. It also comes with a slew of other stuff as well. So if you want to see, like, these Alcoa paints, and you can paint all these up and do whatever you want to with some of these other wheels. If you like them, if you don't, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's it's your it's your deal. And they also fit with other tires like that right there. So you could go with a totally blacked out, you know, Mama Jamma like that. It even got different styles of, of uh, tires with it as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there's lots of options if you don't like the total out, like completely just random out custom stuff here. 
which I never do. So that's why stuff like this is kind of fun because I never do this stuff. I'm always, I'm always serious. I'm always, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just hard to, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I have someone out there is like, oh my God. What's up, Diesel? How are you, man? <clears throat> yeah, yeah well, the Axis likes the uh, rubber bands. Well, good, man. Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll hold up our double 48 foot flatbeds. All right, we have Diablo tire. All right, let's add the wheel in there. This will pretty much be it. Should be. All right, so last thing that I want to ask, and this is the last thing. So I have uh, toolbox chrome doubles. Whoops, nope, this one. So I have also, I have it in blue. Do you guys like the blue with the Peterbilt step? Or do you guys like the toolbox chrome since everything in the middle right here is all chromed out? What do you guys like? Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta make it look ridiculous. There you go, man. Oh, oh. So we got blue and chrome here. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we got in game going on here. All right. I'm seeing a lot of blues. Chrome's better speak up. Seeing a lot of blues. Blue Pete, bro, gotta keep it Pete. Uh, blue, blue Pete, bro, gonna keep it Pete. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure I understand that one, uh, rival. <laughs> no more blue. <laughs> I kind of like the blue. Kind of like the blue. All right, I think blue's one up on that. Too much blue, keep the chrome. Oh, I, I actually don't. We just got the cab and the fenders in the front end. All right, you know what? I'm going to make an executive decision. I kind of like the Chrome Toolbox. I think Chrome Toolbox all spiffed up and shined up would look freaking bad to the bone. Let's uh, let's change this step, and then I'm pretty much done with this. I'm not going to do any more. I'm not going to light it up completely ridiculous either. We've got enough lights on this thing. Trust me, when you see it, you're going to be like, wow, that's a, that's a lot of lights, bro. All right, let's confirm this order. Now, I've got another surprise for you. So let's go ahead and let's pray that uh all is well here and that we don't crash all right look at this inside what you kidding me that's right all right hang on so let's do this let's go into our uh trailer dealer now you guys are going to get a sneak peek at some things that's coming up here in another video so does anybody look at my trailer screen right now let me go back to this screen so let me go back to this screen. Does anybody notice anything on my trailer dealer that you probably don't have? Mike asked, never enough chicken lines. There you go, man. <laughs> oh, uh, no, you can't, Dark. You can't paint them a second. I, it would be nice, though. Would be nice, man. Would be nice. <laughs> Walter's like, uh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fine. Actually, it's a cheetah. Okay. So, whenever you get mods, um, so yes, you can see the Fontaine and the Cheetah logos up there beside your, your standard trailers. So, as you get mods, now both of these are payware mods, uh, but I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into these and show you kind of what some of the payware stuff is going to look like, what some of the mods eventually somewhere down along the line. Now, if you're against payware, if you're against any of that stuff, I'm not going to discuss it with you tonight. Um, it's not even worth it because it's all in good fun here, and it's your decision. Your decision whether or not you support modders in different communities and stuff. Payware modding is not going to destroy the game. Free modding is not going to destroy the game, but people that do ruin it are the people that steal the stuff from the really good ones and then post it up for everyone to have, regardless of whether it's free or not. So that's my position on it. If guys want to charge for their mods, that's fine. You don't have to buy it. Um, you can go do the free stuff and you can watch other people do paywares and, and that's fine. It's, it's all a part of just the sim itself. And I don't know any other sim uh, I did a lot of flight sim. I did a lot of other stuff, and they all have payware mods, so it's fine. But here's what we got now. We did do one of these. We did this, the drop deck. Now, it's actually drop deck here labeled, but it's actually step deck. Uh, the guy that did this is actually uh, speaks Portuguese, so he was trying to, to transfer all this. So I'm going to help him do the, the English translation on these. Uh, but we got the flatbed here, which you can see here. And we've also got Cheetah. Now, these are from a really good friend of mine. We're going to start doing some stuff. So uh, this one I'm not going to do today, uh, just the Cheetah, because we're going to do another video on that one as well. Um, 
Yeah, Axis is like, yeah, RIP. You're you're right, man. RIP the bank. So here's the thing. Really quickly before uh, we get started on this, uh, we're going to do the flatbed because there's two options on these that I want you guys to be able to pick because along with a long styled chassis frame, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. So here's the thing. Um, anytime you do the payware stuff, it's for really the guys that love Fontaine a flatbed like that is their dream load they don't care about any funky they don't want to do a heavy haul they don't want to do this they don't want to do that all they want to do is a flatbed and they will invest in the best flat bled model that they can possibly get and that's what they'll stay with and they'll haul that thing for like six months so don't think that it's just oh we gotta buy this and you gotta buy this mod this mod this mod this mod it's not for everyone and it's okay it's okay don't worry about it so let's go into a customized configuration so here is an actual modded flatbed. Now, you say, well, that's pretty simple. The other mods, you know, in this. So we're going to make it a Rocky Mountain double flatbed, which is already pretty awesome. So here's the thing. We can do this one of two ways. And I will give you guys uh, the choice on this. So we're actually going to do a full 48-inch flatbeds, which is going to be – actually, no, we're going to do the – we have to do the pup in the back. I forgot because of, of – yes – so the, the pups in the back have to be like this. Now, here's the here's the one. You can do this in all the sliders. So now we have custom slider curtains with all kinds of cool stuff. With light bars. You got the wind deflector up here. All kind of does the same stuff. So do you guys want to see uh, flatbed flats or do you want to see, you know, maybe two loads? One with flats and then one with the slider curtains. Either one. Sorry, 48. It's <laughs> 48 foot. My bad. <laughs> oh yeah jb it's going to be hard man it will be what's up Austin may how are you man no sliders no doubles please how about um ooh, two flats okay so here's the thing if you do if you do the sliders now the sliders won't show up we'll see the cargoes but we won't see we won't see everything you know what i'm saying a flat and a slider <laughs> that's stupid <laughs> oh man let's do gosh man now now like this though we can't do that one flat and a one slider that's ridiculous <laughs> how about we do the front how about we do oh this is gonna turn into a meme man you guys are helping me memeing out um all right so we can't do that okay now you could go through and add every single one of these if you want to add a trailer light you can and then it will show up <laughs> <laughs> a reefer and a flat we can't well these are payware the only ones you got is flatbed on these um all right so um gosh okay do you guys want to see uh do you want to see a wind deflector or do you want to see the light strip light strip for two wind deflector for one how about that uh this one does not have the covered wagon i don't think i think the only one that does the covered wagon is the step deck and this is this is just the regular flatbed. All right, so two was the light bar. I think that's what we said, right? Uh, we just Google it there, Midwest the Outlaw uh, Outlaw Viper three eighty nine. Man, it'll take you right to their Facebook page. You'll have to get in the Facebook and then get it from them an update. <clears throat> Hi there, Lee Wolf. Um, nav not Mike, except for what's already in the beta, man. Sorry, man. Yeah, the more lights, the better. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, all right, so y'all wanted to see the light bar, right? That was one, right? All right, so do y'all want to do it like this? A slider in the front and then uh and then the flat in the back? I mean, honestly, we could do either or. I mean, we could we could we could space these up and do and do either or. Oh, look at that. Look at all those cables, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my God. Uh, we'll pull windmill. Well, these Cheetah trailers do not. These are like a container, like tanker container. Like uh, if you had a small tank or whatever that had one of those um, uh, frames around it. It's kind of kind of more of a Euro style, but it's more of a Midwest thing than it is uh, anywhere else. Are y'all y'all want to do the flat with the curtain in the front? If y'all want to do that, then we need to let's go ahead and we'll skin it up. Um, how about we do the express? I like the express one. Let's do, uh, let's do a white. Let's do this one as our deal here. Or Mike, you can do black. Let's see what black looks like. Use a preset on that.
Y'all like that? Black is better. <laughs> Black is better. White is better. White is better. Green. Green. Everyone put green. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> Go black. He's never coming back. <laughs> Y'all like that? All right. I only like it. All right. So here's the other cool thing. So after you get done uh, with all of your cool stuff here, um, now I am just for, I, I am going to add the aluminum wall here just to keep our load from sliding into our slider. Uh, yes, key hook two two. They they decided they would go one and then a flatbed on the back. So we're pulling like double loads on this one. All right, <laughs> I know, right? It's kind of like, well, that's kind of stupid. Well, I told them it was, but they didn't listen. So this one's got the actual supports. It's got the wood in it. I mean, I that's something simple, but you know, let's actually let's put these up here and let's put the uh, there you go. So now we've got the blocks. Let's switch these up. Now I'm gonna blow your minds here in a minute with the wheels. Now this is a pack that is free. Uh, but it's a separate mod. But it does work in 1.32 beta. And just get ready. The, the heads are about to go. All right. So after you get all of this crazy stuff done, um, we are going to add in our... Uh, I'm just going to do simple chrome wheels here. Nothing fancy. I wish at some point they would just say, okay, I need one tire and I'm going to do one wheel. And we're just going to like, we're going to do it. And we're going to do all of them the same color. Like SES, if you're listening, this is a this is a good thing. I want to do all my wheels the same color, and I want to do all of my tires the same without having to find them all. So look at this. <laughs> oh my God, these are all freaking trailer trailer ones. Every single one of them is all trailer tires. So if you like trailer tires and it's your thing, well, you might want to get this mod. The trailer tires, I did find. I'll have to go find your um. I have to go find the link to it. But everything you could ever imagine in all kinds of different sizes in here. Uh, everything. So even if you wanted these wide base Michelins in here, <laughs> you've even got them. Even though they look stupid, you can still put them on if you wanted to. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go with some good years because I like good years and I'm going to try to stay close to home. So there was those. I'll make sure I'm going to get my dynamics here. Make sure we start in the same place. That way I can uh, easily get up there to them. We'll scroll up here and the good, uh, good year. There it is. Fuel max. So we're going to add some fuel maxes on here. So there's that one and that one. Ferrari tires, mm, I don't know. I don't think the Ferrari tires are on here. I wish they were, that would be awesome if you could do that. Now, eventually they say you will be able to apply the same wheels and the same tires. What's up, Nick? How are you, man? All right, I think that should be done. Yes. All right, I think that's it. Let me look. I'm gonna look at one color on this. I'm gonna look and see if there's something else I can do. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's add a gray or a. Yeah, I like the gray in there better than that off off blue. Try to match up the chrome some. All right, so we got a flatbed in here. So whatever the load is, we'll actually see that load in the back. Now the trailer cables and the trailer tires do work, uh, so they will work. Now I don't know how this load's going to pull. I mean, I know it'll pull fine, but I don't know if I'll get stuck. I mean, to be fairly honest with you, I got no idea. So anyway, so we'll confirm this and then we'll, uh, so there it is. <laughs> and we'll purchase this. So this is a purchasable mod, just like we showed you in the video. I am, uh, I think I'm in Phoenix right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the garage. Yes. I access it from the garage. Um, so let's go ahead and let's drive and let's see what happens. I'm actually going to save right here just in case because you never know. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. Going full screen. All right. So there's, uh, there's the truck. Hey, what's up, Michael Lee? 306, wow. Yay, I know. 
I will say this though, I'm gonna have to turn the sounds down. Hang on, let me. We're gonna have to turn those sounds down. Good, just gracious, they're loud. All right, let me know how we uh, got on the balance on this, man. You got it. All right, so I am going to really quickly, um, let's go over to our, all right, so I am going to, let's see. <laughs> uh, it's a chuck, 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 chuck. All right, let's. Uh, I want to make sure. All right, so let's. I don't think I decided to use that. I did not. Okay, so let's use it. So it should be spawned in the garage in Phoenix. So now we can go pick it up. All right, let's see. All right, let's get ourselves. Let's sit up in this thing, right. Nope, nope, nope. Run that in. All right, let's see what that looks like. I like it. <laughs> What's up, Brandon? How are you, man? Alright, so there is our trailer in the back there. Woo! Alright. Oh my god, look at that thing. I don't care who you are, that right there is beautiful. Hey, what's up there, Jake? There we go. All right. Oh my goodness. I, I've <laughs> What's up, Jake? How are you being? All right, let me do some little quick ones here. Cody, thank you there. D20, I, is that I5? What's up, man? Crusade has subscribed. So thank you guys. Appreciate that. And a bunch of All right, so if you're just joining us, thank you for coming in. Uh, really quick before we got the uh, the diesel going here. So we're on a couple of things here. This is the Outlaws 389 Viper, which is an absolute awesome. This is basically Viper's 389 with a ton of custom items. As you can see, pretty much anything on the outside is custom besides what you normally see with custom uh, Viper's 389. The other thing is some brand new payware trailers that are just about ready to roll out. We've been beta testing them. And I was going to give a little sneak peek here on the live stream as well, see what you guys thought of them. Um, and when these things are done, I'll do a video on those, showcase everything you do with those. But you guys kind of got to see what was in this and kind of got to make a decision. So we went half and half. We're sliders on the front. We're flat bed in the back. So we've got some custom cargoes. We'll try to go pick up some wood and that way you'll be able to see one of the cargoes uh, and see some quality on the back end of that. And it's not completely done. So we're still got some things to finish up, some beta stuff. So thank you there, Dusty Wolf 26. Appreciate that, man. Uh, well, it's it's only lagging because I'm not actually on the window right now. So yeah, it'll, it'll it's it's better when you do, I guess. So, all right, let's roll. Let's uh, let's go pick us up a load here. So, like I said, we will be um, we're in Phoenix now. Uh, so I'm gonna go pick up some wood. So we gotta pick up here. So we'll have some other things here. Like I said, all this stuff will be fixed up uh, by the time. There's some wood right there, Phoenix. Uh, oh, this can't burn. Let's go a little bit longer than that. A little bit longer. Dylan, thank you there, buddy. Appreciate your subscription. 
See if we can find some other wood. We've got plenty. There we go. I'm going to try to find some. There you go. That's a nice one there. Going into Kingman. That's a nice little uh, drive. Not too long. Let's roll it. All right, there's probably no way I'm actually going to make it out of here. Hey, fam, what's up, man? This is the Outlaws 389. Uh, yes, Logan, it is not the Phantom, though, but it does look like the Phantom. You are correct. It does look like it. It's uh, meant to. What's up, Josh? How are you, man? Well, luckily we've got... Oh, luckily we've got developer tools, so we can just hop right out of here if we have to. <laughs> Make it there, Tim. Appreciate it, man. And if we got everybody out there, go ahead. Come on, come on, come on. There's a nice Subaru. I think that's new in the game. Oops, All right, we're a little stuck there. We just pull it around the corner. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, that was gonna be hard to get out of there. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta do that. All right, now let's get going. Hey, Jake. Yeah, I don't know about a million, man. <laughs> we'll do what we can, man. <laughs> She's thick. Hey, thank you there. Thank you there. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you for uh, liking the truck. Like the video. You know what? That's, uh, that's one of the biggest things you can do, Rob. Like the videos. You know, share them if you want to. Uh, but those likes, man, and watch time and stuff coming and, and hanging out here with all our videos, man. That goes a long way, bud. Thank you, Lily. Appreciate it. Nicholas C. And we had Wilbert Van Turnout. So thank you there, Wilbert. Appreciate it there. And also Nick, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's good. So all these these engine sounds did come with the truck. So this is not any kind of special mod. This came with the truck. And there's a bunch in here. I mean, a ton. But this one probably sounded the best out of most all of them. I guess it's gonna let me go. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy. All right, someone, hang on. Woo, did y'all hear that blow off? Speedy's game zone, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, you hear it idle on the outside? Yeah, man. <laughs> I was waiting to see what that truck was gonna do, man. Oh, chance where you get get a little get a little feisty there, buddy. What trailers? All hail Lord Pepe. What's up, man? Uh, so these are uh, these are our test trailers. I'm working with a uh, modder that uh, sent me some stuff to test, and I said, well, I'm gonna get 
figure out whether or not you guys like this. So these trailers are actually payware, ownable, uh, custom, Fontaine, uh, regular flatbed uh, trailers. So they've got a couple things, whether you see these, um, you've got the sliders, plus you've got the flatbed, all options on the wheels and sides and different things you can attach to it. So it's a, one of the first ownable trailers uh, that they have out here for the mod. So it's pretty, pretty slick, man. Now, I will say this, too, a little caveat, because people have been asking me this, actually. Um, so, you see, my some of my road signs are actually not, um, you know, are not visible. The reason for that is the Sir Blackie's Heavy Transport mod, and that's actually baked into this model itself. So, all of those options and stuff are in here, and that is what uh, makes all your road signs disappear. So, if you have disappearing road signs in 1.32, take out the Heavy Transport mod by Sir Blackie a lot. Uh, and that will uh, fix your roads. All right, so we're going to pick up some wood in Best Buy. That That's okay, great. All right. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> key hook. <laughs> yeah, I do. We're, we are full. We are full. So we'll kind of get close and then I'm going to see if we can just pick this up. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because um, this is part of, actually, this is probably part of the best testing right here is actually doing this because um, if you don't know exactly where these things are coming in and out of and, and what businesses they come in and out of, um, it may be one of those deals where you can't actually get the doubles in there. So, you know, it might be we just have to cut Best Buy as one of the uh, places you can uh, haul flatbed. <laughs> yeah, I know, Devar. <laughs> yeah, I know. There was a couple other mods we did that. But the good thing about that is you could say, well, at least you never have a... Um, oh, well, you could do it. I mean, we're probably not going to be able to do it. I mean, we'll certainly try. Nope, not gonna last. All right, it's all right. We'll do it this way. It'll flip us around. Ah, uh, Norm, I do not know, buddy. There we go. All right, what do we got in the back here? Oh, look at that, man. Oh, sweet. So it looks like, um, so different wood loads here. So I, I did one earlier, but it was not this. Um, this is basically what wood would look like. Oh, my gosh. So this is basically what wood would look like if you were to um, get it from a, a sawmill. So actually, you know, before you actually plane it up, uh, that's what it would look like. And this is actually, see, that's another thing. It's a good, good test right there because uh, this will need to be on the full flatbed. So we've got the pup flatbed, which might be a problem with that. So it's not going to kill us here, but that's the way you test this stuff out. Ah, uh, Brenton, yes, it kind of is. Uh, this is the Outlaws Custom. Outlaws Custom 389, but it is based loosely um, off of uh, Vipers. But they've got a lot of uh, a lot of external mods and a lot of external uh, accessories and some other things like that uh, that you can uh, that you can look on here. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, Best Buy is a lumber bill, I know. Well, part of that, too, is we have a slider up front. So I'm not sure. It may have populated some more jobs there I wasn't anticipating on. So... Gavin, what's up, man? Dirt bike boy, what's up? Uh, Matt, this is engine sounds comes actually inside the truck.
here it is. Hey, look at that crazy. <laughs> oh, did I go? What? I didn't go the wrong way, did I? Did I really go the wrong way? Man, I did, didn't I? Oh my gosh. Y'all could have told me. Did I really go the right? Did I really? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah! Woo! Going off road with the MTG! Woo! Alright. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Diesel sing. <laughs> Absolutely illegal U turn, man. Oh, well, come on there, dirt bike. It's more than welcome to come on and join, man. So, once we get going here, I'll throw a couple of uh, a couple of links and stuff out. You guys still hear me okay? Brett, just Google it, buddy. Just Google it, man. That's all you gotta do, man. You'll see it. Just Google it on Google. And uh, it's you gotta go through Facebook. Uh, it is not uh, it is not publicly out on the mod sites and uh, and just from me it better not wind up being there <laughs> Absolutely Mike swift move right there, buddy <laughs> Now I will tell you this thing will knock out your road signs just to recap there on that Especially if we got people that are hey, where are your road signs? It's because of the uh, the heavy transport mod that's associated with this You know the one that gives you that big old black that black uh, covering and back cap over your tires and stuff in the back that thing uh, itself uh, is uh, gives you a problem on 1.32 so I have to wait till that gets updated then the 389 I'm sure we'll get an update after that um, and then when we get all this stuff uh, up to speed and then we should be good to go so there's some of them are pretty good and then some of them that it's out I'm not sure if it knocked the new ones out or it knocked the old ones out I have absolutely no way of knowing that so It really is nice. I'm not one for custom trucks, and I love this. All right, Jake brakes. I just literally said why I was missing banners. <laughs> Tease with a Jake break. <laughs> yeah, I figure it's people like this. It's actually a really nice Jake break from inside. It doesn't sound too bad outside, but it sounds a lot better inside. Yeah, Flash King. Well, this is a um, this is a mod. So this is a, a payware mod. I did a I did a step deck video um, about a week ago. If you have not seen that, go check it out on the uh, go check it out now. But yes, it, uh, you can do that. So we've got two. We've got a slider up front. We've got a flatbed in the back. You can make these uh, both sliders if you want them that way. You can also have these go both be both Rocky Mountain doubles. Uh, as well as full-size uh, flatbeds as well. So depending on what you want to do and how you want to uh, how you want to swing that, uh, you can basically put them in any kind of combination and add them in uh, as you go along. So it's pretty cool. Pretty definitely definitely a cool little uh, combination. It does better if you do it singles or full doubles. Uh, we got to get the the loads in there, Rocky Mountain, the, the Rocky Mountain double stuff in there as well. So. Good night from Northwest Missouri. Well, thank you there, Tiff. Appreciate that as well. Nick C., I think. I don't know if I got you in there for a uh, for a, a sub shout out. So thank you there, Nick. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably would, but the physics engine in ATS just doesn't just doesn't do that. Game Katie, what's up, man? 
How are you, man? Good to see you guys. We're just load here to Kingman, and then we'll look at uh, Chase Muncie. We'll look at his uh, subscriber uh, shout out coming out here. So thank you there, Chase. Appreciate that, buddy. All right there, TJ. Have a good man. Have a good one, man. Can't find this truck on Google. Well, it's uh, yeah, it's there because that's how I found it. Yeah. Outlaws Custom 389 ATS. B train flatbeds. There you go, Charles. Well, the cool thing is you can do the Rocky Mountain doubles, but this these actually work better for the loads right now. They work better to do full 48 footers. So, which is this is pretty, which is pretty awesome. Hey, say what's up, buddy? How are you, man? No, I don't do torrents. I stay away from all that, man. Oh yeah, dirt bike. We do everything, man. Anything you want to haul, dude. Mods. You want to haul the regular game, you want to play Truckers MP, you literally can do it all in the company, man. Every single bit of it. All right, there, Chance. Have a good, buddy. to uh, make it dark right or at least dusk let's um let's make it dusk because you guys need to see the other stuff in the extreme okay all right um geez, uh, time. let's make it uh let's see 15 17 all right now let's make it a little bit later g set time Look at those lights. Thank you for the chance. Appreciate it, buddy. Hey, what's up there, Anthony Lynch? How are you, man? Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, trailer. If you want to lift those up, they work. Yeah, you can there, Kim. Cold shorts, what's up, man? How are you? Yeah, 
Yeah, I know, Anthony. It's going to be sweet, man. I, I'm looking for some new area, man. And it's, you know, the trailer ownership is a huge step up. Um, but to even see what they've got there in Oregon with their, uh, it, it's going to give some new life to having some logging trucks. And maybe we'll see some really cool modding, uh, you know, really cool logging stuff that comes out. Maybe some modded, uh, modded trucks that are very, very, very old school with the logging stuff, or at least stuff that you would normally see. So I can't wait to see how that economy works in without with the uh, with the trailers as well. Uh, there's just so much going on right now with ATS. It's a great time to be driving. Uh, if you have it, be looking for ATS to go on sale as well. So once these things go live, uh, be looking for ATS to hit sale. Look for the DLCs to go on sale. Uh, and pick that stuff while you can, because it doesn't stay on sale for very long, and it usually, for whatever reason, does not go on sale uh, very often as well. So you know, double check that whenever things, whenever things start happening. Uh, make sure you get in on that good, good stuff, man. Hey, the Crusade, appreciate it, man. Uh, how do you like the inside of the can FTT? I, I guess I like it, man. I guess it's okay. Jamal, what's up, man? Scott, doing question? Uh, I assume that that was a uh, how were you? Yeah, logging map was going to have some dirt roads on it. And I don't know how much of that is going to be, you know, logging maps versus other things they've got situated. But uh, for right now, I mean, it looks like it's going to be cool. We're going to have some nice trails and stuff to ride the trucks in that are going to be going to sawmill esque type places. Uh, so that's going to be that's going to be pretty slick. Yeah, there you go, Anthony. That's right, man. Jake it. All right here. It's got like that, man. Well, that's that's the thing, Axis. Like, put that stuff on your wish list. Like, if you haven't yet, if you're here watching the live stream and stuff, go watch. Uh, go put on, on your your wish list right now. You could Oregon DLC or put American Trucks in. Go uh, pull up the Oregon DLC and put it on your wish list. That way, as soon as it goes on sale or anything like that, you guys will be uh, first notified whenever it does do that. That's that's an awesome way to keep up, especially when those sales come. And like I said, they'd only come, you know, once. And I'll go in and tell you, like, go ahead and buy ETS too if you've never done it. Go ahead and buy ETS. Because usually you, I picked up, I think when I bought ETS, I bought literally bought that stuff for like, I want to say I bought that stuff for literally like 20 some dollars the entire shebang. So what even like just the first couple it was the entire deal so uh definitely 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 really cool so oh flash king the trailer mod is in a beta right now for 1.32 so i'm kind of doing some testing and doing some loads figuring out everything i can so one of the uh, modders i'm working with uh we'll be able to test this thing out i'll be able to bring once we go final with it i'll be able to do a full trailer review throw you guys the links throw you guys store links on that stuff but it's not just a free mod that i can just uh, pass out links and stuff to um so so yeah, the out the uh, truck is called Outlaws 3, uh, 389. Um, so Outlaws 389 for ATS. You'll have to get into Facebook groups uh, to be able to grab this. It is not on the free modding sites. It's never going to be. Uh, these guys, it's still a public mod. It's not private. It's not payware. Uh, but they have done a fantastic job with this truck, and I am excited to be able to uh, be able to finally be driving this thing. I've been seeing pictures and all these custom ATS groups and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, that truck is awesome. So. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to actually be driving in it now, so. <laughs> What's other PRR, man? Uh, what about Vipers 389? What about it? Uh, yes, Vipers 389 is on Steam and it is free. What's up there, Tori? How are you, man? What up, Trevor? How are you there? Good to see you guys. 
So we got a double doubles up here. So we've got our uh, slider in the front. We've got our custom flatbed in the back. So we're looking pretty doggone good. We got lights even in the uh, lights even in the uh, air cleaners. It's so freaking awesome. Ah, uh, so cool. It actually kind of got dark on me. Good thing this load's about done. Knee cam. All right there, Craven. Going to make sure Indy's up in the house tonight. <laughs> Diablo wheels or Google too. Let's see, okay, so here's the thing. You guys are asking me to give you the direct link for this, but I didn't get a direct link. I literally Googled them and found them. I mean, it's pretty easy. Diablo wheels for ETS and ATS. And then, it, you know, it, it threw it, literally just spit it up right in the very first couple results. Uh, and I was able to download it. Same way with this truck. I don't know why you guys are uh, not finding it. Because uh, it, it's, it's out there and very, very accessible. <laughs> you know, you keep looking. I'm not going to send you the direct link to it because that defeats the purpose, man. People got you got to got to learn how to got to learn how to find this stuff, man. I wish it would do a burnout, man, but it's not going to. <laughs> there you go, Jake. Well, thank you, man. I don't mind helping. Listen, guys, I really don't mind helping. Um, you know, but uh, but I, I find this stuff the same way. I let me let me put it to you this way. This is the best way that I can think to put this. I am not going to mislead you guys on on a wild goose chase uh, just because I don't want you guys in a truck that I'm driving. You know, uh, if I'm driving a truck or if I'm doing things minus pay where mods, I'm obviously not going to send that out to anybody. Uh, but I will certainly make sure you guys know the links. And I pretty much always do have the links in the descriptions for the videos and, and help you guys whenever I can. So I promise you, I am not just leading you on a wild goose chase. Google is your best friend to find things and to search for things. And to uh, and you never know what you might uncover. Because actually, I found the Outlaws 389 completely looking for something totally different. And then I ran across it and I was like, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> so, hey, what's up there, RPM? How are you? Good to see you there, Erpum. Oh, come on, car. You're like, whoops. Whoops, sorry. Uh oh. We're good. All right. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hey. Oh, stuck up. Come on, man. Come on, noob. You're the one that named yourself noob. I can't expect you're an, a noob at modding, man. It's just you got to look for it, man. got to learn. Because that's when it gets fun, man. Modding is part of the fun of this game. It really is. It really is. That, that's I, I enjoy driving. I really do. Uh, most of the time, man, I enjoy going out and hunting for this stuff and finding the really good stuff. And then I honestly enjoy giving you guys some, uh, giving you guys some inklings so you guys can actually um, find it yourself and actually drive the stuff. And I always, you know, post the links and post some good videos to help you guys. So don't don't call me a stuck up POSD. I'll just straight up go. Hey, you know what? How about this? Let's go ahead and let's just do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll have to get it from uh, from Motion <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be it for me. So that's perfect. An hour and a half. So we did a really good build on this truck, and we got some really cool trailers as well in here. So just I'll uh, let me show you a little a little recap here on the trailer manager. Oh, uh, thank you there, Norm. Well, I'm not the king, man. I'm just I enjoy doing it, and uh, and I really do want to see. Uh, I just see what you you know want to see you guys enjoy it as much as I do, especially when it comes to the modding and really getting out there and having fun with all this stuff. So, uh, just please don't call me stuck up about it, because that's that's not the case. 
I can show you plenty of stuck up uh, ATS guys that won't share nothing with you. Uh, and that's and that's just the way it is. So because um, they don't want anyone doing anything but themselves. But let's uh, let's look. I'm, oh, I can't configure that. OK, here is the other one. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save that for a video on that one. So all right. So cool. That's it. So there was flatbed R RM. Uh, the double the Fontaine right there. So we had double flatbed. So basically a Rocky Mountain double with a slider in the front and we had a flatbed in the back. We could have put the flatbed in the front and then done a slider in the back. Either way, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, we just still had the same cargo load. So we still got some things to clean up and still some stuff on this, but I will be able to post some links to the trailers, uh, especially once ever they are uh, completely up and they're final and ready to rock and roll. Uh, other than that, there's really, really nothing said. Um, as for the Outlaw 389, I'll post a link to the Facebook group because you have to get into the Facebook group to be able to, to uh, get in there and access their, their public mods. And they've got a few different things, and they're all really, really, really good stuff. Great Facebook communities. And I will say this just as a plea for myself to, especially my viewers, uh, respect these communities as you go in there and, 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 and enjoy what they have to offer the communities. They are communities themselves, so respect them. Uh, and respect their mods and the things that they've got going on because they really are doing some really cool stuff. Uh, and one of these days, we'll save uh, we'll save the discussion of uh, you know why why they went private Facebook and uh, and did some other things just to kind of uh, protect some of their work and their mods and people that were coming in there to steal them and try to make a buck off of them. So it's it's not exactly a, the cleanest story and. Um, so anyway, uh, it is what it is, but anyway, I'll post that up as soon as this video gets processed, which will probably sometime in the morning. Uh, it'll let me actually edit all the video and the descriptions and stuff. So anyway, that's going to be it for me. So absolutely, man. Thanks to everybody that came out. Thanks for all the new subs. Derek Latta, I don't believe I got you a, uh, I don't believe I got one in there for you. Tori Tesla, thank you there, man. Uh, says shout out for you top drivers, boss. Well, thank you there, Tori. And uh, I think King and Jason XR60 Selleck. Uh, 12 pack. I was trying to think of a few other guys down there. Uh, Chris is in there as well. So anyway, those guys have been driving a huge. We are number one ATS right now. And there comes uh, VL Chips. Thank you there, VL Chip and Tori Test. Thank you there, for Super Chat. Appreciate that, buddy. And as always, if you guys want to go ahead and uh, and look down in the description. I got Discord down there. Also, anything you see on the Amazon link is all up here as well for this, for everything that you see in the stream, and especially on the cam uh, and all that good stuff. The other thing is, if you're looking to, to be a part of a truck company and you want to log some miles offline with mods, without mods, online, multiplayer, it does not matter. Uh, you have the ability to do that here with our truck company. Uh, we are almost at a million miles, but we are the number one ATS company right now. So, which is a big double thumbs up to all those guys that are logging huge, massive amounts of miles. And also our online convoys happen on Saturdays, usually around 1030 Eastern standard time PM. Uh, and, uh, around 1030, we'll get meet here in the discord about 10 o'clock. And then when last week we had about 37 or eight, we had a couple of stragglers there on the end, but had 35 in discord. Uh, so it was a huge convoy. Um, and we're going to be rolling out some more cool things with convoys here in the near future. So, um, so thanks everybody for, for everything. And thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subbing. If you have not liked the video, go ahead and click it a thumbs up before you hop on out of here. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, thank you there, Rob. Appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I will certainly go there, Kim. Uh, and you guys have a great one and I will see y'all here. I think tomorrow we may have an upload for tomorrow. I'll need to work on that. Uh, and see if I can make that happen. We may have an work, uh, a, um, an upload tomorrow and then we'll be back on live stream again uh come wednesday possibly but definitely friday and then definitely saturday uh for live streams as well so anyway that's gonna be it for me guys see you everybody y'all have a great one glad you enjoyed it we will do some more here with some more custom trailers as well and uh and i've also got some other things truck wise we'll go back and cycle through some of our stuff volvos and the kenworths and the 900b and t800 dump truck we've got some other cool stuff in there as well so things finally starting to roll out on the updates here with the beta and hopefully by uh maybe beginning of next week you might be talking about some Oregon DLC and as soon as that comes out as long as I my butt is in my chair and I'm sitting here we will be streaming some Oregon DLC so if you if you're not gonna get it or you're gonna wait and see it before what's going on uh come and check out here in the stream as soon as they release it I'm gonna do my best to hurry up and get some videos get some live streams out let's check that thing out together other than that guys we will see you thank you there Clint what's up man <laughs> I hear you man uh you guys take it easy and I'll see you here all in the next video or live stream we'll see you guys peace